Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Inga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. Today's video is what I eat in a day and I will show you one of the most favorite dishes of mine that not only me but I know a lot of Latvians are having. It's also kind of party food because it's it could be like tiny little bit of um, canapé style but you can have it for breakfast, etc. It's egg dish, it's um, very much keto friendly and low carb, but I'm adding uh, in here a little bit of carrots, which you don't have to do if you don't want to, but it's lovely, it's really, really nice. So I'm not going to keep you long, let's start watching. So what I have done here, I've put 10 eggs to boil, literally just um, put them in the kettle and now they're boiling. I've put them under the cold water for a few minutes to make it easier to peel but for some reason you can see that it's, it looks really sticky and it's not coming off very easily. Um, usually what happens this happens if the eggs are fresh. Not too sure how fresh they were but um, as a rule the fresher the egg the more difficult it is to peel clean, cleanly at the lower pH um, of a fresh egg the proteins in the egg white bind tightly to the carotene in membrane during the cooking process which makes it nearly impossible to remove the shell without chunks of white attached so my mom came in and she suggested me to peel it off with the spoon. Well, it was my very first time, so it was not that easy, but hey, look at the egg. I did it quite well, but because I was too slow, my mom came in and she literally helped me to do it, and you can see how well she's doing it. I mean, come on guys, she looks like a professional. But yeah, I think the eggs were a little bit too um, fresh. Another way of how to do it you can um, and how to do it well is you can try to roll the egg on the table like trying to squeeze the shell that also is one of the techniques that I have heard about but look how well my mom is doing it just looks brilliant so generally there are quite few techniques that you can use if you have this issue or actually to avoid the issue so you can start with the eggs that are a few days old. Fresh eggs are slightly less acidic, so the white sticks to the inner shell more. Um, another thing you can do is add salt and vinegar to the water before cooking. I totally have forgotten about this. Um, uh, also, you can cool the egg, eggs in a cold water, but I've heard that cold water with ice is the best. So here, I'm taking garlic. Guys, look at the garlic cloth. It's huge. It's enormous. It's just one tiny piece supposed to be there. So I'm not going to use that this time. I will use this one instead, which is quite much smaller. And these are all the ingredients that I will be using. So eggs, cheese, tiny bit of carrot, mayo and garlic. I didn't really add any salt because the mayonnaise and cheese was um, enough for us this time. So I'm taking the grater and on the smaller one I'm literally just grating the cheese. It more looks like minced cheese now but yeah that's um, what I'm doing. You could use any cheese. I used one of my top cheeses here in Latvia, which is Russian cheese. But yeah, it's hard cheese regardless, so it's not as um, hard as cheddar, for example, but yeah, that I, I love the taste and again, <laughs> I grew up with it. Next, I'm taking carrots. For a keto diet, you don't necessarily have to add the carrots, you can easily go with the egg and, and um, cheese itself with mayo and garlic and it's brilliant anyway but I've, I've said it before that I'm not exactly following perfect keto 
so I did add some carrot but I mean the amount that I used you can still count it towards your um, carb goal and this is my garlic that I'm adding here and basically that's it the next step is um, mayo yeah so I've halved the eggs not all of them I think there was about four of them so and I'm taking out the egg yolk and just adding to the salad and again I will grit it like I did before with the rest of it and you saw the egg halves I will be filling them with the salad that I'm making now and the rest of the eggs so as I said I used four of them cut in halves the rest of them I'm just grating all of them like the whole egg including the egg white but it depends if you're if you want to fill the egg fill the eggs um, you can use only the egg yolk if you want you can have this as a salad as such and yeah now that's done and I'm slowly adding the mayo and a bit more and seriously I didn't even have a need to put the salt in it felt salty and fat and full and rich, extremely rich enough. So now I'm doing the eggs. Yep, that's exactly how they look like. So what I did is I did prepare, so there was um, four eggs which made it eight um, egg halves which I topped up with my cheese egg salad and that's it the rest of it I'm using as a normal salad so you can top it up with whatever you want I did top up with typical Latvian dill <laughs> but you can put whatever you can put pepper on it you can put olives like literally whatever you feel like that goes with it and you can use it for canapes for just a snack and the rest of it I will be having for breakfast and again it it can go in your buffet it can go as a dish as a starter whatever like you can give it to your guests it's really nice um, another thing that I wanted to show you guys which is not what I'm preparing but can you just take a moment and appreciate these um, butter beans that my parents are preparing for um, winter they will be stored in the freezer can you imagine that we are buying these things and they can just prepare it it's amazing and quick one look at the evening sky I'm sorry for putting this in but I just couldn't listen to the frogs Thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to press the like button if you didn't press the dislike button if you haven't done it already press the subscribe button and um, yeah don't forget about the bell um the notification button that will let you know about any of my upcoming videos and i will see you on my friday's video um yeah bye